Okay, in this lecture we're just going to look at some final formatting, put some grid lines in here and a little more color, and then our kitchen remodel cost worksheet will be complete. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put some color in here to make this stand out a little bit. And where we're already going with a pretty subtle color theme, I'm just going to add a little subtle kind of pink or salmon there, just to make that total stand out. And then we're going to put some grids in here, and I'll just show you a couple things. Like the way the grids work is that if you were to highlight this whole section and go in here to your borders and say all borders, and then I'll click off of that, you can see it just lays in an outline for each cell. These little gray grids that you see are really just guides. Those would not show up on paper if you were to print this. So this formatting partly does depend on whether you're printing it or whether you're just using it online or on your desktop. But let's undo that and I'll just make a little bit of formatting that'll just look a little cleaner. So what I'd want to do is just highlight all of this. I want to put grids in there. I'm going to just highlight this and I'm going to do an outside border for this whole area, which is right here. And I'm going to do the same for this area. It's already selected there, so I can just click it. Same for this and the same for this. And then this one I'm going to add a grid to as well. All borders. So that just defines things a little bit more. And one other thing that I'll show you real quickly, and this is something that we'll go into more later in the course, but I want to show you how to do a table. So I'm just going to undo all this formatting that I just did, and then I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to format it as a table. And when you do that, and again, I'll go into this more later in the course, it provides a little additional functionality to your spreadsheet, but it also allows you to use these really simple and kind of clean color formats. So if we did this one, I'll just show you what that looks like. Oh, real quick, it's going to ask where's the data for your table. It's right there. It's already highlighted it. And it also asks if your table has headers, and it does, so I'm just going to leave that clicked and click OK. And then when I click off of it, you can see it's put these little drop downs here where I can sort things, but it's also formatted the lines with some horizontal bands just to make it a little bit easier to see. And of course you can change that formatting to something with some more pizzazz if you want. But we'll just go back to this first one that we did which is pretty simple and clean looking. And that's another way to just get some quick formatting into your table. And in fact, I'll go back to my original formatting just to keep things simple. But that is how you create a kitchen remodel cost worksheet. And our worksheet is complete. So now what you'll want to do is follow through these lectures and actually create one of these yourself. Or you can download the Excel document for the kitchen remodel cost worksheet and you can play around with it and just make sure that you understand how all the formulas work and the formatting so that you have this down so that you can then go and create your own worksheets to more efficiently and effectively perform the tasks that you need to perform.